It's my feel good breakfast show. Welcome back to your feel good breakfast show. It is Expresso here on SABC3. We're talking about emotional affairs this morning. So much to get into. But mm. before we do that, why don't we head to the street where we ask some of our South Africans, why do people have emotional affairs? I think they are unhappy in their marriage. That is why they are looking uh, relationship outside their marriage because they, 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 they are not satisfied with the, their uh, partners. Sometimes they end up cheating with, with their partners. That is why they end it like this. Well, the main reason could be that their partner maybe lied to them or maybe, you know, gave them a reason to lose trust in them. So they would rather do that, you know, get attention from someone else, you know, because they are weak that time. They are, can I say, they're emotionally unstable, so they don't know how to handle it. So they just, you know, shoulder to cry on and then, you know, that's how it happens. Maybe they're being neglected by their partner. Or maybe they're just feeling lonely. There's maybe something missing in their current relationship. So the husband don't take note of you and someone else takes note of you, then you develop a relationship with that person, but then it's not necessarily um, physical, but then it's more like an emotional relationship because you get from that person what you maybe don't get from your spouse or your partner. Very interesting comments there, Dr. Eve. This last yeah. lady just said the reason why people go into an emotional affair is because there's something missing in their current Absolutely. relationship. Because I don't think yeah. anybody really wants to do that if you're getting I what agree. you need at home. I agree. I, well, I think the two things to that. I think that we can have emotional connections yes. with a variety of people because it enriches our lives. But there's a boundary around how much we should be sharing with that yeah. and how much the majority of your emotion emotional life should should be ideally with a partner of your choice but you know this weekend i was doing some really interesting reading around research looking at as i always do sexual satisfaction sexual frequency and it repeatedly comes up through research that women who have emotional intimacy are going to feel more sexually satisfied and will want more sexual frequency in the wow. relationship. So we cannot get away from the fact that women, and I like uh, and our box is men expressing the same thing as well. Yeah. We want emotional intimacy. We yeah. want to feel emotionally close. And oftentimes people will say to their partner, you know what, I'm feeling distant from you. I'm feeling disconnected from you. I feel like you're not listening to me. I feel like you're not, you know, I'm not being heard. And those people are what we call vulnerable mm. to going online and to then seeking out emotional attachments with somebody yeah. else, which they wouldn't define as cheating because they're not really having sex. Yeah. But of course, it is emotion, emotional betrayal in a way. But it is saying to the partner, I've asked you, I've let you know, I need something richer in my emotional life with you. And either you don't have capacity or else you just don't want to be giving that to me. And that is our prime need as people. Mm -hmm. It's not the sexual activity that we need. We need social, emotional wow. connection with somebody. That's so, what drives us. So how do you fix it? Like if it's well, not there and you find yourself, yeah. you know, maybe leaning towards somebody for that emotional yeah. fulfillment, how, yeah. how do you get back to the place of being fulfilled in your current relationship? Well, you might be with somebody who hasn't the capacity and you went into it knowing they don't have the yeah. capacity. Or maybe you also didn't realise how large your capacity for emotional intimacy really was. So you can go into a place of acceptance, and this is the most of what I'm going to get. I'm also going to live with integrity, meaning I'm not going to keep it secret. I'm going to let my partner know that I am seeking more emotional connection with other people. I'm going to let you know I'm chatting to other people on Facebook or on Twitter or on WhatsApp, but it's not going to be to your detriment. Or else you can also live in a relationship where you have emotional connection but not sexual connection with other people. Or else you can just say, I'm out of here and I need to have that emotional connection because I feel like I'm betraying myself and you by taking my emotional life elsewhere, yeah. which is very important to me. Yeah, because the truth is you're not going to get everything that you need from one person all yeah. the time. So it's okay to have connections with people. It is, but I also think it's important to be making choiceful partner choices yeah. so that you know if emotions are something really important to you and you don't want a superficial relationship, you want to choose somebody who's got emotional intelligence and is going to be vulnerable. It's very important to be How vulnerable. How many of us make the right choice when it comes to that? Because yeah. you oftentimes put that off till it's too late. Yeah, well, we see the red flags and we speak yeah. about it often on the show. We see the red flags. It's like, mm, I'm really not really being heard or I'm really feeling like I can't safely disclose my feelings because this person doesn't really respond or isn't really listening or isn't really interested. 
and yet we go ahead driven by other needs such as need for a partner, need for companionship, need for sexual activity and we then find months, years later, it catches up with you. Like really, the emotions is really what's important. Sure. Well, we'll stay, we'll keep with Dr. Eve on our couch this morning. We're continuing to talk about uh, emotional relationships and of course the detriment that it can be to your relationship. If yeah. you have a question or a comment, please give us a call at 3913 3728.